All right. So I was cleaning out one of my machinist toolboxes that I used back in my time when I worked as a machine machinist. I guess you could say a manual machinist for a few years. Um, or millwright, whatever you like to say. But uh, uh, <clears throat> these are a few tools I had in there, extras that is in the toolbox that I use quite quite regularly. Um, one was a shop I worked at. We used to do a lot of stud extraction on engines. And uh, I bought this at Harbor Freight probably 15 years ago. It's held up very well. I really forgot about it for about the past six years. It's been sitting in my machinist toolbox. Another Harbor Freight item that I picked up that I never really did use because the companies I worked for always had their own stamps, but they look to be decent quality. And these things are over 15 years old. That's the stamps or the uh, Pittsburgh, I guess you could say, uh, metal stamps. <clears throat> Another tool that I had in the toolbox, and I used it quite a bit, and it was made by craftsmen or marketed through them. Uh, believe it or not, these look new because they got replaced. I broke every one of them, and they had a warranty on them and got them replaced. But these uh, basically uh, screw extractors for wore out heads, uh, I used them a lot you know, when we would do installs. Another tool that was in the toolbox, I used a lot, and I really like these fowls. I don't know if they still sell them or not, but uh, this Craftsman uh, screwdriver handle fowl set, uh, yeah, I really, really like these. I used them quite a bit. I've cleaned them up. Uh, they look almost new, but I actually I sandblasted them and cleaned them up a little bit, um, which I know some people said would hurt the... Uh, the cutting edge on them, but it, it really hasn't. Um, but just enough for around the farm. But I really like them. These are just a few tools I had in the box.